and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some spring cleaning and decorating. So I'm going to be working in my kitchen, my dining room, and also my living room. So Easter definitely snuck up on me this year. I looked it up on Google the other day and I was like, whoa, <laughs> Easter is literally in March this year. So I'm not going to lie, I have felt a little rushed to get my Easter decor out so we can enjoy it for as long as possible before Easter comes and goes. So we're going to be mainly decorating for spring today, but adding some pops of Easter. Also going to be doing a little bit of deep cleaning and decluttering today, mainly in my kitchen because my kitchen counters, they feel cluttered and it's bothering me. And I think I can clear those off if I work on these drawers that are back here. By the way, I'm washing towels, so that's what that background noise is. Um, my washer is really loud. But I've got this junk drawer here. It's probably gonna stay a junk drawer, but an organized junk drawer, if you know what I mean. And then this drawer, I wanna completely clear this out so I can use it for my utensils. And I think that'll really make a difference. This drawer is also kind of like a miscellaneous junk drawer. A lot of it can go elsewhere. So I'm gonna try to work on that today. But before we jump in, I wanted to also let y'all know that today's video is in collaboration with a very sweet friend of mine here on YouTube, Kimmy Cope. She's so sweet, so down to earth. She's actually one of my favorite channels to watch here on YouTube. And so I'm really excited to be sharing her with y'all today. She does a lot of cooking and cleaning and homemaking over on her channel. I love her decorating videos. Kimmy has the sweetest, humblest personality that I have seen yet here on YouTube. And I just really love her videos. So I know you guys will too. She's gonna be doing some cleaning and decorating today as well. So make sure when you're done with my video to head over to Kimmy's channel. I'll have her video linked down below in my description box. If you head over, let her know I sent you. And if you're coming from Kimmy's channel and this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Kelly and I do a lot of homemaking and cleaning over here. I like to decorate. We do some home DIY projects. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But we are going to go ahead and get started. I got behind on my dishwasher. So my sink is full of dirty dishes. So I've got to get my dishwasher unloaded from last night so I can get the dirty ones loaded in there. I'm going to go ahead and run those so that by tonight I'll be all caught up. Also make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end of the video. I'm trying to talk a little bit low so my kids don't hear, but I got their Easter baskets situated so I will go ahead and share in today's video what I got them. So be sure to stay tuned, but we're going to go ahead and get started. By the way, how cute is this mug? I found it at TJ Maxx. It's a pretty yellow, just wanting to focus on my face. <laughs> it's just a pretty yellow mug with flowers on it. I thought it was really pretty for spring and summer. Before we get started, I'm gonna light my new candle here from Bath & Body Works. I love this peach Bellini scent. If you have not smelled this, highly recommend. It's a very fruity scent and I love the fruity smells in the spring and the summer. Recently, Bath & Body Works had their candles, their three-wick candles, on sale for $13.95 so I got a couple of new ones and that was one of them so I'm getting some music going here I am listening to country today I'm also gonna go ahead and take a magic mind shot just to give me a little boost of energy So my spring cleaning is a little off this year because we haven't lived in this house for very long. It's only been three months since we've lived here, which is crazy because it seems like it's been longer, but 
I did some cleaning before we moved in and I've also done some cleaning since we have lived here as well. Some deep cleaning. So I don't really have much spring cleaning to do this year, but there is some things I want to take care of today in my kitchen. As I mentioned, the countertops, I want to get those decluttered. I have way too many utensils on my counter but also the drawers need to be decluttered i've already got two junk drawers going here in the kitchen y'all will have to let me know if you have a junk drawer at your house i feel like that's something that everybody has <laughs> is a junk drawer but i don't know you guys let me know down below shine up my sink today i'm using my barkeeper's friend i used this the other day or the other night i should say on my stove top and somebody was asking about it so i wanted to show the bottle but use it for both my sink and my stove top and it works great i also use it on my pots and pans if i get a stain on them like those brown spots that collect on the bottom of your pots that'll get it right off i love this stuff but you can find it at walmart you got a smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you Starting with the silverware drawer. So there's not a lot I'm gonna be decluttering out of this drawer, but I do wanna trade out this plastic utensil tray for a wooden one that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It's just nicer looking, so I wanted to trade that out. I'm also gonna be wiping things down today with my Mrs. Myers in the rose scent. It smells just like spring. It had my house smelling so good. I got mine from Target. That's where I've been getting a lot of my Mrs. Myers stuff lately is from Target. I like the rose scent and I also like the peony for the springtime. I did relocate those little snack cups to the cabinet instead of the drawer. Those don't really belong in this drawer. I do still use them for my four-year-old when we're in the car and she's eating snacks. They really come in handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and move here to the junk drawers. So it's got a little bit of everything in it. I'm taking everything out. This drawer also has all of my appliance warranty booklets and manuals. So I moved those to my bedroom where I keep important documents. I also found my scraper. I don't know if y'all remember me saying the other day I could not find my scraper. Well, it was in this drawer buried under manuals. So I just took everything out and then I've got some little trays that I'm gonna put in the bottom of the drawer here to kind of keep everything organized. It's still gonna be my junk drawer, but at least it'll be organized. So in this drawer, I keep my um, lighters that I use for my candles and also thumbtacks. Keep the business card to my appliance repairman. I had to call him just last week to come and fix my dryer. So I'm gonna hang on to his card. I keep that in there. I've got command strips and hooks and also the keys to my shed. So moving on to junk drawer number two. So this is where I would put anything that I was like, hmm, I'm not sure where to put this. I'm just gonna throw it in the drawer, forget about it. We've got a lot of little sauce packets in here. The kids Nerf bullets. I keep those in a gallon Ziploc bag and every time I find one, which is every day, <laughs> several times a day, I uh, just throw them into that bag so they're all together. But I took everything out of that drawer and rehomed everything. And this is where I'm gonna put the majority of my utensils. Since it's a nice wide drawer, it's gonna hold pretty much everything that I need it to hold, except the stuff that I use regularly. I'm gonna keep that 
by my stove in the drawer, but everything else I'm going to be able to put in this larger drawer. By the way, if you notice some yellow looking stuff on the sides of my drawers, that's glue from a long, long time ago. We had glued the fronts of these drawers on because we could not get them to stay. And so that's what that is. I can't scrub it off. It's stuck on. So maybe one day I'll be able to paint over that or sand it off or something. By my stove, I do want to keep my wooden spoons and spurtles on display in the wooden canister that I have. I like the pops of the wood tones throughout my kitchen. So they're kind of like decor in a sense, but also spoons that I actually use. And y'all, I accidentally threw away one of my knives from the knife block there by my stove. I used one for Kane's birthday party when we were doing his cake and I left the knife in the box. Most of the cake had got eight and without thinking about it, I tossed the box the other night when I was up till midnight doing all of that cleaning, I was super tired and I just tossed the whole box with my knife in it. So I'll have to order a replacement. I love this cucumber and lily scent hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I've got that sitting there by my kitchen sink. So really quick, I just wanted to show you guys what my drawers look like. I have the one drawer with all of the utensils that I don't really use on the regular. I have those tucked away over there. And then by my stove, I have all of the ones that I use on the regular. I really like these silicone ones because they're non-scratch, so I don't have to worry about them scratching up my caraway pots. But I'm gonna go ahead and move over here to my coffee bar station. This little counter has more on it than what I would like for it to have. So I'm going to take everything off and give it a good wipe. I'm going to keep it very minimal over here. I'm also going to wipe down the wall and the Keurig itself because with these white walls, you can see all of the little <laughs> coffee splatters. I'm also going to take and move my lamp over here closer to my Keurig. I think it just looks nicer there. And also my mug tree that one of you guys gave me. clear off the top of the microwave. I don't normally keep this stuff here. It's just stuff that accumulated over the past day or two. So I'm going to get that cleared off and then I'm going to take my fruit bowl that I keep on my kitchen island. I'm going to move that over here to the top of my microwave. I like the fruit bowl on the island for a while, but I really want to do a cute little spring centerpiece here. So I went ahead and moved that so I could do my centerpiece on my island. So a lot of my spring and Easter decor this year came from Walmart, TJ Maxx, and I got a couple things from the Goodwill, but I'll try to link what I can down below. The stuff from Walmart, I know for sure I can link, but the stuff from TJ Maxx and the Goodwill, obviously I can't link those things, but definitely check out TJ Maxx or the Goodwill, especially for your greenery. So this little tray that I used for my centerpiece is from Walmart. The bunny is from TJ Maxx. The white pitcher is from TJ Maxx, well as the tulips. I had posted the centerpiece on Instagram and one of you had asked me if they were real. They're not real. Even one of my kids thought that the tulips were real and they do look super real and they also feel real to the touch. But those are from TJ Maxx. The candles from TJ Maxx and the little bird is from Hobby Lobby. And then the little bead garland is from Walmart.
So coming over to my window here, I had gotten a little set of bunnies here. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby or it might've been TJ Maxx. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look. I did a haul a couple of videos back, so I'll have to go back and look, but I had got this for my TV stand, but I actually found something else to go on my TV stand and I thought the little bunnies would look cute here in my kitchen window. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the front of my stove and get some new spring dish towels hung up. I found a pretty pack of green hand towels from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is my favorite place by far to shop for hand towels. They usually have pretty good prices and the hand towels are also really good quality. The ones that I got today are kind of textured. One of them is like a waffle texture, but it was a pack of three. So I'm gonna hang two of them here on my stove and then one of them I'm gonna hang up over in my mixer. over to my coffee bar station area. I found this little bunny from TJ Maxx. He's carrying a basket on his back and I thought he was so cute. So I got some little chocolates to throw in his basket and I'm gonna keep that here by my Keurig. That's really all the decor that I plan to do over here. I went ahead and got my coffee mug washed as well so I could set that out and I think it turned out super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my appliances and also the bottom half of my cabinets. I cleaned these cabinets not long before we moved in and they're white so they show everything but especially the bottom ones because that's where my kids walk by. They constantly touch these with dirty or sticky hands and also if we drop anything like food or drink it goes right onto these cabinets. So I'm gonna take a second just to go through and wipe these down. I am thinking seriously about repainting these cabinets because there's a lot of spots that I just can't get clean. I've tried everything. They do really need some touch-ups and also my drawer pulls need a fresh coat of paint as well. So I'm just gonna go through and get these bottom cabinets today. The top ones really weren't that bad since it hadn't been too long since I cleaned them, but because these are the bottom cabinets, they get touched the most. So they really needed a good wipe down. And this cabinet here, so my cabinets are coated in like a, or I should say wrapped, they're wrapped in like a thick plastic. And so the plastic is breaking off on that one cabinet. Somebody thought it was paint that was chipping off, but it's not the paint itself. It's the plastic that's wrapped on the cabinets. Also totally random, but my freezer handle is now fixed thanks to a family member. When we had Kane's party, they knew what to do to fix it. So we got that fixed and the handle doesn't fall off anymore when you pull the freezer open. There for a while, I was having to just pull from the right side because the left side was not tightened on there. So every time I would pull it, it would pop off. It was super annoying, but we got that fixed and I'm so grateful. But we are moving into the dining room. I'm going to wipe this table down really quick and I've got a new runner and some placemats that I want to get set out just to cozy up this dining room. I do not like this dining room right now. It's my least favorite room in the house. But after I decorated today, I love this room so much. I'm still not totally sure what I'm gonna be doing in here yet as far as renovation plans, DIYs, stuff like that. But just adding the decor really made a difference in here today and I love how it came out. I got my mantle decorated for spring. The mantle really intimidates me, but I'm really happy with 
what I came up with today for my table centerpiece, I was gonna do something different here. I had a little dough bowl with some baby's breath and some little eggs I was gonna set here, but I decided to do this little white pitcher that I had tucked away in one of my decor bins. I pulled it out and I got some stems from Walmart. I'm gonna stick down in there and I'm using paper towels to kind of hold those in place. They wanted to slide around and not really stay how I was arranging them. So I just used some paper towels. I balled them up and stuck them down around the stems and that really helped to hold them into place. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way Somebody near It's open for tonight It's not too late This mirror I found at the Goodwill I paid $6 for it and honestly when I picked it up I walked around the store with it for a while and I really just could not decide if I really truly wanted it or not. I had my mantle in mind but I wasn't really sure if it was going to come out and I was so close to putting it back but I'm really glad that I kept it because I think it really worked here on the mantle. It kind of opened the space up a little bit. This mantle was definitely out of my comfort zone. Normally when I'm trying to throw random things together and make it work I get really stressed out and I overthink but I don't know I was just liking everything today I used one of the pictures that I had originally bought for my bedroom I pulled one of those out and used it I used a candlestick for some greenery I found that greenery at the Goodwill by the way and I absolutely love it but I had this idea to put the greenery on top of the candlestick just to add a little bit of height popped a couple of Easter bunnies up there and then my dough bowl that I was gonna use for my table centerpiece, I decided it looked better up here on the mantle in front of this mirror. And you'll see me kind of moving things around here in a second. I ended up taking that picture and putting it to the left of the mirror. And then I have a little basket that I'm gonna set behind the candlestick with the greenery. I feel like it needed something else over there. And I had that basket already tucked away in my decor. So I pulled that out and stuck it back there and I think it's all working. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts down below. I'm always scared when I do stuff like this that it just looks like a cluttered mess, but I was really happy with how this came out. And two, this mantle is really tricky for me because it's a dining room mantle. So when I try to get inspiration, especially on Pinterest, a lot of the mantles that are on Pinterest are living room mantles and stuff that you would decorate a living room mantle with, you wouldn't necessarily put in your dining room mantle. But I think everything that I come up with today worked pretty good. Lastly, I'm gonna hang up this cute little carrot garland that I found at Walmart. It's just little wooden beads. So this little ribbon that I'm tying around my cutting board here came off of some plastic packaging that the eggs were in. So instead of throwing that away, I decided to tie that around my cutting board. So I'm very happy with how my kitchen and my dining room came out, but I'm all done with the decor in here. So I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum. We're gonna go ahead and move into the living room. I'm not doing a lot in there either, but I did get some new pillows. And then I have a couple of pieces that I wanna set out on my entryway table and my TV stand, just to give it that little spring touch in there. Right, 
so before I decorate in here I'm gonna pick things up really quick the kids had been hanging out in here so I needed to just pick things up get the pillows up off the floor fold this humongous throw blanket that I'm gonna end up taking to my bedroom later it really ended up clashing with my new pillows that I got it does work out better on my bed so I'm gonna fluff the cushions because my kids love to get on these couch cushions and it smashes them down so I'm gonna get those fluffed back up. I'm also gonna go ahead and vacuum and normally I would do this after I decorate because of the dust but like I said I'm not doing a lot of decorations in here it's just a couple of things that I'm setting out so I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the floor. So these pillows I got from Walmart and at the time of purchase I thought they would be a really pretty spring color and they are very pretty for spring but they're not for my living room. They're just a little bit too bright and I'm not loving them. I do plan to get some new covers. The covers on these come off so I'll switch those out for something a little bit more muted. Maybe a more muted down green tone for my living room because I've got a lot of browns and darker colors in here. And also I wanted to add that my dining room is not really going with my living room right now, but I do plan to take some of this style. I don't even know what you would call this. The style that I have here in my living room, I plan to eventually take that into my dining room when we start doing things in there. But right now I've got two different styles going in my house. And it does bother me, but at the same time, I'm not trying to get it all figured out right now. I'm going to figure it out as I go. And the same thing with that little home sign, y'all. It's just way too farmhousey for my living room. So I may just paint the wood on that. Maybe a darker color. And I think that would tie in with my living room a little bit better. But I'm gonna go ahead and move over here to my entryway table. I'm gonna take things off, give it a quick wipe, as well as the mirror. And I'm also gonna move my wax warmer to the bottom shelf. I had a couple of you to suggest that I move it down. And I think that's a really great idea because I like it so much better on that bottom shelf. Also, a couple of you have suggested that I move the basket from the left to the right but the reason I have the basket there is because I have the lamp and the wax warmer plugged up right there and you can see all of those cords hanging so the basket with the pillows hides all of those cords so that's why I've kept it there but it does kind of clash with my blanket ladder basket and all of that so who knows, I may end up moving the blanket ladder and the basket. I don't know, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I just know that the basket on the entryway table hides all of those cords. Also got us our very own Easter tree this year. If you have watched my videos for a while, then you may remember our little Easter tree that we had at my mom's house. She still has it and I want her to keep that. It was something that my Nana had gave to us. So I really want her to keep that and I got us our own Easter tree to put up and it looks very, very similar to the one that my Nana gave us. So I just love those little Easter trees because they remind me of my Nana. So I'm happy that we have one of our own. I also love the little wooden bunny. He is super cute. He's from TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure. And the garland that I'm hanging up right now is also from TJ Maxx. So coming over to my ottoman tray, I'm gonna keep what I have on there currently. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe. One of the kids had been playing in the 
candle, the wick that had been burnt, they smashed it up and smeared it into my tray. So I was cleaning that up, but I am going to keep the candle here on my tray. It's back from Valentine's Day, but I'm just going to keep it there and continue to burn through it. I do want to keep the dish once the candle is gone. I think it would be a really pretty piece of decor for Valentine's Day in the future. So I'm going to keep burning through that, but Really quick, I'm just going to show you guys an overview of all of my decor. I love how this came out. This is one of my favorites that I've done so far. The house feels so airy and fresh and ready for spring. So as promised, I wanted to include what I got my kids for Easter this year before I close out this video. Just for those of you that are interested in seeing this, I know it's not everybody's interest, not everybody cares, but some of you ask for this every year and it really doesn't do me any good in the algorithm to post it as a video by itself. So. I'm just going to include it in this video and I also wanted to get it out as soon as possible so that if you see something here today that you would like to get you would have time to get it ordered and have it delivered on time before Easter so um, with my kids Easter baskets I like to get them ready for the summer because that's stuff that I would have to buy anyways and so that way it keeps their Easter baskets practical. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to be going to the zoo in April and I wanted to get my kids all some new hats. They can wear these to the zoo, to the water park, um, to the beach, whatever. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys my kids ages. I have a 13 year old son, an eight year old son, and then I have a four year old daughter. So my 13 year old son is a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan. If you don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, it's a video game. It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, but horror. So my 13 year old really enjoys that. So I got him Five Nights at Freddy's. And then for my eight year old, he is really into Minecraft right now. He goes through phases with things, but right now he's really into Minecraft. We just had a Minecraft birthday party. And then for my four year old daughter, she loves Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse anything. She loves it, so I got her this one. I also went ahead and got them all new slides that they can wear to the water park or the beach, just shoes that they can slip on and it's not a big deal if they get them wet. Um, so for my 13 year old, I just got him, these are all twisted up. I just got him black because for his size, there wasn't a lot of themes to choose from and the themes that they did have really wasn't anything that he was interested in. So I just got him these black ones for my little Minecraft fan. I got him <laughs> Minecraft slides. And then for my daughter, I just got her these little pink ones. I will have all this linked down below, by the way. They're kind of like the pillow slides that you see for the adults, but they also have the Velcro strap on the back. So that way they're not gonna fall off of her feet. So they all really needed new swimsuits. Ray had outgrown hers. The boys, they were looking kind of just worn out and old. So for the boys, I got them matching swim trunks. These are so cute. I ordered them online through Target. It's the Cat and Jack brand. They also had a pretty blue color, but they were out of stock. So I just got these green ones. So matching sets for the boys. And then for my four-year-old daughter, I got her a one-piece Minnie Mouse bathing suit. This one is so cute. It's got little flowers on it, Minnie Mouse. It's got some little bows at the top, which I think is so cute. So she can wear this with her little Minnie Mouse hat and her little pink slides. Also, every year I like to get my kids new cups, and I like to get the ones that will keep their drinks cold so that they can take them to the zoo, um, the beach, and their drinks aren't going to get hot fast. It'll keep them cold. So for my two younger ones, I got these Zulu brand cups. These are from Target. So I got the pink one for my daughter and then this blue one for my son. And then for my older 13-year-old, um, I got him this Contigo brand. It's just a blue color 
cup. I got him bigger because, I mean, obviously, you know, he's an older kid. He drinks more. So, I got him that. And then, they all love Squishmallows. This is just something fun to throw in their basket. But we got Tails and Knuckles. <laughs> My boys are really big Sonic fans. I'm not sure which one I'm going to give to which yet, but... I thought they would really like those and they can set them on their bed and then for my daughter this one is so cute it's a little hello kitty bunny she loves hello kitty and she loves bunnies she has a bunny that she's had since she was a baby and she still carries it around it doesn't have any ears one of the eyeballs have popped off i've had to glue it back on so the bunny is falling apart but she refuses to let it go anyways all that to say she's a really big bunny fan she loves bunnies and so I wanted to get her this one. So this year, instead of doing the bubble wands like I normally do, I got them bubble guns. I figured they would have a lot of fun outside with these. I got these on Amazon and all I could find were the two packs. I couldn't find any that were packs of three or obviously that's what I would have done. So instead I just got two two packs and we'll have one extra. So if somebody tears up, then will have an extra to replace it. And then the other day when I was in TJ Maxx, I came across these Easter egg bath bombs. They are individually wrapped, so they're not gonna make a mess in their Easter baskets, but I'll divvy those up amongst them. And I figured they would like those, so I got those. And then some snacks and candy that I got them. And I just realized as I sat down to film this video that I forgot to get the chocolate bunny. I say every year that no Easter basket is complete without a chocolate bunny and here I am forgetting the chocolate bunny but I have to run back to Walmart and get that before Easter. So all three of them they got tubes of these M&Ms and then this stuff here I will split up amongst them. We got the little Cadbury eggs there's five in here, so my plan is to give them one each and then two for me because I like these two. Got some little bunny uh, chocolates individually wrapped. And then lastly, some Reese's peanut butter eggs. And the boys really love Takis, specifically the blue ones. These are hotter than the other Takis, <laughs> but they really like these. Usually if we go to the store and they want to pick out a snack, they go for these. So I got them each a bag of the blue Takis. And for my daughter, since, you know, she's a little too young for Takis, it's going to set her mouth on fire. I got her these little bunny grams. It's just little chocolate and vanilla bunnies. So I thought she would like those. I wanted to share their actual baskets with you guys. I just got cheap baskets this year. Um, but I also wanted to get some that were going to be big enough to hold all of their stuff. Cause a lot of times their stuff overflows their basket cause the basket's way too small. So got two bags of grass for the boys, the green, and then pink for Ray. And then these are their baskets. I found these at Walmart. Like I said, super cheap. I think the price tag is $6 a basket. So I got that for my daughter and they're very spacious. So they should hold most everything. So I got that. And then for the boys, I got one green one and then one blue one. Not sure which one I'm going to give to which yet, but got those. So there you have it. That is everything I got my kids for Easter this year. Minus the chocolate bunnies. I've got to go back and get those, <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below. Some stuff's from Target, some's from Walmart, so I'll just have all the links down below, but I hope y'all have a great day. Remember to check out Kimmy's video. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Don't forget your butterfly, and I'll see you in the next one.